Attention. To get the most out of this vocabulary listening session in a relaxation mode that approaches hypnosis, we recommend that you first listen to the normal video about this vocabulary. Listening to the normal video will allow you to familiarize yourself with this vocabulary or even to look up any unknown words. Thus, after this preliminary work, your brain having already become accustomed to this vocabulary. Listening to this video will be much more effective. Now, let's begin the relaxation phase. Find a comfortable place to sit or lie down, in a quiet place away from light and noise. Once you're settled, feel free to adjust your position if you need to. Take a deep breath, Fill your lungs and hold it for a second. Now, exhale and close your eyes. Let yourself relax. Let go of the superficial tensions in your body and let your shoulders relax. It's good to relax today to prepare for learning English. Now place your awareness on your eyelids. You know that you can relax these eyes wonderfully. You know that you can relax these eyes so deeply that as long as you choose to keep this relaxation, the eyelids will simply no longer function. And when you know that you have done this, keep this relaxation and give it a good try. Make sure they don't work, and notice how they feel. Really test them. That's okay. That's good. Stop trying and let yourself relax even more. The quality of relaxation that you have created in your eyes is the quality of relaxation that I would like you to let go of in your entire body. So take this relaxation and bring it to the top of your head and send it down your body from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. Let go of every muscle, let go of every nerve, let go of every fiber and let yourself drift much more deeply relaxed. There you have it. Now let's really deepen this state. In a moment, I will ask you to open and close your eyes. When you close your eyes, send a wave of relaxation through your body so quickly that you will allow the physical part of yourself to relax. Ten times deeper. Want it and you will have it. Let your eyes open and close your eyes. And really let go. Feel your body relax even more. You are doing very well. In a moment, I will ask you to open and close your eyes again. At the moment you close your eyes, double this physical relaxation. Let it really develop in you twice as deeply. Let your eyes open and close. Deeper. Deeper. Relaxed. In a moment, we will do it one more time. And notice how this will happen all by itself as you learn how simple all of this is. Double it at least. Very well. Let your eyes open and close and let go. That's good. That's good. Now the body is really relaxed. So let's let the mind relax. That's really what we want to do. When your mind is relaxed, you can really achieve anything you can imagine within certain limits, of course. A relaxed mind that will allow us to listen to this new English course 
and better understand its vocabulary. Let's go now. At the restaurant vocabulary. A la carte. This means that you can order any dish from the menu without having to choose a fixed set of courses. I prefer to order a la carte because I like to try different dishes. Set menu. This means that you can choose a fixed number of courses, usually for a fixed price. The set menu includes a starter, a main course, and a dessert for 25 euros. Appetizers. These are small dishes that are served before the main course to stimulate your appetite. For appetizers, we have garlic bread, salad, and soup. To bake. This means to cook food in an oven using dry heat. She baked a delicious chocolate cake for her birthday. A beverage. This is a drink, usually other than water. Would you like a hot or cold beverage with your meal? A china. This is a type of porcelain that is used to make dishes, plates, cups, etc. She collects antique china from different countries. Chopped. This means to cut food into small pieces, usually with a knife. He chopped some onions and garlic for the sauce. To go pear-shaped. This is an informal expression that means to go wrong or fail. Everything was going well until the dessert went pear-shaped and burned in the oven. To clear the table. This means to remove the dishes, cutlery, napkins, etc. from the table after a meal. Could you please help me clear the table? I'll do the dishes later. Cutlery. These are the utensils that are used to eat food, such as knives, forks, spoons, etc. The cutlery is in the drawer next to the sink. Spoilt for choice. This means to have so many good options that it is hard to decide. The menu is so varied that I'm spoilt for choice. What do you recommend? A dressing. This is a sauce or a mixture of ingredients that is used to add flavor to a salad. I like my salad with a light dressing of olive oil and vinegar. A flavor. This is the taste of something or the quality that makes it distinctive. This ice cream has a rich vanilla flavor. A guest. This is a person who is invited to a place or an event by another person. We have a guest speaker today, who will talk about his experience as a chef. Helping. This is a portion or a serving of food. Would you like another helping of pasta? There's plenty left. The main course. This is the most important or substantial dish in a meal, usually served after the appetizers and before the dessert. For the main course, I ordered steak and fries. A meal. 
This is an occasion when food is eaten, usually at a specific time of the day. What did you have for your breakfast meal? A napkin. This is a piece of cloth or paper that is used to wipe the mouth or hands while eating. Don't forget to put a napkin on your lap before you start eating. An oven. This is an appliance that is used to bake, roast, or heat food. Preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius before you put the pizza in. A pan. This is a metal container that is used to cook food on a stove, usually with a handle and a lid. Use a large pan to fry the eggs and bacon. A plate. This is a flat and round dish that is used to serve or eat food. Please pass me your plate when you're done eating. Wipe the slate clean. This is an idiomatic expression that means to forget or forgive past mistakes or problems, and start again with a fresh attitude. Let's wipe the slate clean and forget about our argument. We're still friends, right? To pour. This means to transfer a liquid from one container to another, usually by tilting or lifting. Can you pour me some water, please? I'm thirsty. A recipe. This is a set of instructions that tells you how to cook a dish, usually with a list of ingredients and measurements. Do you have a recipe for apple pie? I want to make one for my family. Organic. This means that something is produced or grown without the use of artificial chemicals, pesticides, or hormones. I only buy organic fruits and vegetables, because they are healthier and tastier. I might plump for a fish dish. This means that I might choose or decide to have a fish dish, usually after considering other options. I'm not sure what to order, but I might plump for a fish dish. I heard they have fresh salmon today. A side order. This is a small dish that is served along with the main course, usually as an extra or an option. Do you want a side order of fries or salad with your burger? Silver. This is a type of metal that is used to make cutlery, dishes, or other objects. She polished the silver before setting the table for the guests. A. To slice. This is a thin and flat piece of food that is cut from a larger piece, or the action of cutting food in this way. He ate a slice of cheese with his bread. She sliced the cake and served it to the children. Spicy. This means that something has a strong and hot taste, usually from the use of spices or peppers. I love spicy food, but it makes me drink a lot of water. To take away. This means to buy food from a restaurant or a shop and eat it somewhere else, usually at home or at work. I don't have time to cook tonight, so I'll order some pizza to take away. Around the clock. This means all day and all night, without stopping. The restaurant is open around the clock. So you can eat there anytime you want. Complimentary. This means free of charge, or given as a courtesy or a bonus. 
The hotel offers complimentary breakfast and Wi-Fi to its guests. The cloakroom. This is a room or a place where you can leave your coat, bag, or other belongings, usually for a small fee or a tip. You can leave your jacket in the cloakroom. It's too warm inside the restaurant. Give it a whirl. This is an informal expression that means to try something new or different, usually for fun or curiosity. I've never eaten sushi before, but I'll give it a whirl. It looks interesting. Appetizer. This is another word for appetizers, which are small dishes that are served before the main course, to stimulate your appetite. For appetizer, we have garlic bread, salad, and soup. Baked. This is the past tense of to bake, which means to cook food in an oven, using dry heat. She baked a delicious chocolate cake for her birthday. Beverage. This is another word for a beverage, which is a drink, usually other than water. Would you like a hot or cold beverage with your meal? Bill or check. These are words for the document that shows how much you have to pay for the food and drinks that you ordered at a restaurant. Can we have the bill, check? Please, we're ready to pay. Buffet. This is a type of meal where you can serve yourself from a variety of dishes that are displayed on a table or a counter. The hotel has a buffet for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You can eat as much as you want. Condiments. These are substances that are used to add flavor or color to food, such as salt, pepper, ketchup, mustard, etc. The condiments are on the table. You can help yourself. Cutlery. This is another word for cutlery, which are the utensils that are used to eat food, such as knives, forks, spoons, etc. The cutlery is in the drawer next to the sink. Farm to table. This is a movement or a concept that promotes the use of fresh and local ingredients that are directly sourced from farms, without going through intermediaries or processing. The restaurant is famous for its farm to table cuisine, which showcases the best of the region's produce. Fried. This means to cook food in hot oil or fat, usually in a pan or a deep fryer. He loves fried chicken, but he knows it's not very healthy, so he only eats it once in a while. Grilled. This means to cook food on a metal rack or a device that has bars, usually over a fire or an electric heat source. She grilled some vegetables and cheese for a healthy snack. Hearty. This means that something is satisfying and filling, usually because it is large or rich. He made a hearty stew with meat and potatoes for the cold winter night. To chip in. This is an informal expression that means to contribute money or help for a common purpose or a shared expense. Let's chip in for the pizza, so we can all enjoy it. The quality started to go downhill. This is an idiomatic expression that means to deteriorate or decline in quality, performance, or condition. The restaurant used to be very good, but the quality started to go downhill after they changed the chef. Surf and turf. This is a type of dish that combines seafood and meat, usually lobster and steak. 
He ordered surf and turf for his anniversary dinner as a special treat. You're making my mouth water. This is an idiomatic expression that means to make someone feel hungry or eager for something, usually by describing or showing it. You're making my mouth water with your description of the chocolate cake. Can I have a slice? Acidity. This is a term that describes the sourness or tartness of a wine, which is influenced by the amount of acid in the grapes. This wine has a high acidity, which makes it refreshing and crisp. Aeration. This is a process that involves exposing wine to air, which can enhance its flavor and aroma. He poured the wine into a decanter, to allow for aeration before serving it. Aging. This is a process that involves storing wine for a period of time, which can improve its quality and complexity. This wine has been aging in oak barrels for 10 years, which gives it a rich and smooth taste. Appellation. This is a term that identifies the geographic origin of a wine, which can indicate its quality and characteristics. This wine has the appellation of Bordeaux, which means it comes from a specific region in France. Aroma. This is a term that describes the smell of a wine, which is influenced by the grapes, the fermentation, and the aging. This wine has a fruity aroma, with hints of apple and pear. Balance. This is a term that describes the harmony and proportion of the elements of a wine, such as acidity, sweetness, alcohol, and tannin. This wine has a good balance, which means it is neither too sour nor too sweet. Barrel. This is a wooden container that is used to store and age wine, which can impart flavor and color to the wine. This wine was aged in new oak barrels, which gives it a vanilla and toast aroma. Blend. This is a term that describes a wine that is made from a mixture of different grape varieties, which can create a more complex and balanced wine. This wine is a blend of Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, and Malbec, which gives it a full-bodied and fruity flavor. Body. This is a term that describes the weight and texture of a wine, which is influenced by the alcohol, sugar, and tannin content. This wine has a light body, which means it is thin and watery in the mouth. Bouquet. This is a term that describes the complex and mature aroma of a wine, which is developed by the aging process. This wine has a floral bouquet, with notes of rose and violet. Brute. This is a term that describes a dry sparkling wine, which has very little or no sugar added. This wine is a brute, which means it is not sweet at all. Cellar. This is a place where wine is stored and aged, usually underground or in a cool and dark room. He has a large cellar, where he keeps his collection of fine wines. Connoisseur. This is a term that describes a person who has a lot of knowledge and appreciation of wine, usually based on experience and taste. She is a connoisseur of wine, who can tell the origin and quality of any wine by just smelling it. Palate. This is a term that describes the sense of taste and the ability to distinguish and appreciate flavors. He has a refined palate, which means he can enjoy subtle and complex flavors. Sommelier. This is a term that describes a professional who is trained and knowledgeable in wine, 
usually working in a restaurant or a wine shop. She is a sommelier, who can advise you on the best wine to pair with your food. Good job everyone, you have successfully completed the hypnosis session. Now we are going to gradually wake you up. As you count backwards from 10 to 1, you will begin to feel more and more alert. 10. You are feeling more awake. 9. Your mind is becoming clearer. 8. You are feeling more focused. 7. You are starting to feel your body again. 6. Your muscles are becoming more energized. 5. You are feeling more and more like yourself. 4. You are ready to open your eyes. 3. You are feeling refreshed and energized. 2. You are ready to return to your normal activities. 1. Open your eyes. You are feeling great. You are alert and focused. You are ready to take on the world.